Hi everybody, this is Jose with Deduce, and today we're going to go over uh, deleting individual items within Deduce. Uh, now, deleting stuff is always a tricky business, as you certainly don't want to delete everything in the project, but sometimes you'll find a need to delete specific items. Now here I have a bunch of documents, some video and PDF files, that aren't linked to anything and don't really have any substantial coding, so I want to get rid of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the media tab to get to this list. I'm going to check the first item, then I'm going to hold shift and click the last item. We'll see everything is selected now that I want to delete. Then I'm going to click delete selected and I'm going to type in the prompt. Note that this has to be in all caps. And as soon as I've done that, we'll see that all items were deleted. Now something you want to be careful with is uh, whenever you click select all, it will select everything, including stuff on other pages. So you really want to be careful with this button whenever you're deleting data. Also, you can always delete items defined by descriptors by narrowing them down, clicking select all. We'll see that it selects everything in view, but not everything in the entire project. Whenever I clear these filters, we'll see that most stuff is still unchecked. And at that point, I can just click delete selected just as I did before. Now descriptors and excerpts are very similar in the ways that we delete them. We check them, check stuff we want to delete, and then click delete selected. Let's go ahead and do that just to make it very clear. Remember all caps. Now as for deleting codes, these can only be done one at a time just because this is a pretty drastic change in a project. We hover over a code, click the gear icon, then click delete. Once we click through the prompts, the code is deleted from our code list and removed from the excerpts, but do note that the excerpts still remain. Lastly, we're going to touch on how to delete a project. You can click on a project, then click delete project on the bottom right, and then type the prompt again. Once I do that, I'll hit submit. It may take a few minutes based on the size of the project. This project that I deleted was very small, so it was very fast. And that's about it. We see that it is no longer in my project list. Anyway, I hope you all learned something today, and if you have any questions or any ideas for videos, feel free to let us know at support at